Hi everyone, welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you are a current subscriber. I wanted to share with you a recent purchase that I made from Coach. They were having a 25% off on select items and so I checked and one of the items on my wish list was actually included. So I went ahead and made that purchase. So what I picked up was the Coach Julian cosmetic case in the size 17 and it is in the floral pattern which is kind of like this watercolor effect on that. So I really liked the look of this. I know a lot of people aren't the biggest fan of this pattern it seems like and I really liked it in the small SLGs such as this cosmetic case, not so much in the bigger pieces, uh, but I thought this one was so cute anyways. In addition though, because I wasn't in a rush to purchase this at all, I did wait and hope that Rakuten would increase their cash back, which they did. So for one of the days, they increased it to 10%. So I went ahead and made the purchase, so I got an additional 10% cash back on top of the price. So originally, uh, it is $120 Canadian on the website. So with the 25% off, I got this for $90 before tax. And so I thought that was quite reasonable. Um, and overall, I'm really happy with this. Just to go over the dimensions really quickly, of course, it's in the size 17, so it's 17 centimeters across. Um, on the website, it's in inches, so it is six and three quarter inches in the length or the width and then it is about five inches tall and the depth is about two and three quarter inches and if you look online and compare it to let's say the louis vuitton cosmetic case it is nearly the exact size um, so if you were considering that and want something a little bit more reasonably priced uh, i would suggest checking out maybe coach and seeing if they have a pattern that you do like um, but overall it's very nice it is in a pebbled um, kind of like creamy beige leather and the patterning is just printed on top of it and it looks like the edges are like um, debossed into the leather which is quite nice and they also do have these kind of glittery details on it which I thought was cute um, and otherwise it's quite simplistic it just has the uh, gold C logo on the front um, and then of course the sides are zippered as well and just looks like that. A nice thing about this as well is that the top kind of corners or like the edges close to the zipper there is actually a seam on all four edges which is quite nice because it allows for this to be a little bit more structured but where it doesn't taper as strongly as let's say like the Louis Vuitton cosmetic case where it tapers all the way until the zipper. Um, with that it kind of juts out and I find that it keeps the width quite similar all the way through so it does give actually a little bit extra room so you can fit a little more things inside this pouch. Um, but otherwise another thing that I really like is that the zipper goes all the way down. I'll just close it right there. It's a nice smooth zipper and it goes all the way down to the edge. So this allows you to really open it so it's easily accessible. You can look in and see everything that you need, which I really like. Uh, on the inside, it is like a coated fabric, which is nice again, because if you make a mess or anything um, or spill anything in there, I think it's gonna be really easy to wipe down. So I love that. Um, and again, also I love that it is gusseted actually on the sides. So even though you can really open this out, you don't have to worry about anything falling out of the edges where the zipper opens. Um, other than that, it does have two slip pockets on either side and they do go all the way to the edge and the bottom so it does take advantage of the full length of the side which is nice. Um, and yeah, that's kind of it. Uh, I'm really happy with this. I haven't used it of course but I do actually have a trip coming up next week uh, so I'm going to be utilizing this especially just to keep all of my cosmetics in this case um, and anything that I need in the bathroom uh, for me when I travel and this will also be of course really useful for me when I'm going outside let's say if I'm going to a spa or something where I do need to bring some toiletries with me I think this will just be the perfect little case because I don't carry that many things with me so for me this fits everything that I do need. Right now, this is still available on their website and I will link it directly below. Uh, it is full price now though, but I would say they will likely have it on sale. Again, I don't think it's the most popular pattern, so I think it will go on sale eventually anyways. Uh, but if you like the cherry pattern that they currently have, that is on sale, I believe, for 30% off. And if you just like a plain black one, they do have one in like a cross grain leather. And I think that's full price, but that's at, I believe, $90, which is what I got this one for. 
Um, but other than that, I think this is a great option and I would highly recommend considering this if you were looking for a cosmetic case of this size. I think just with all the different details and everything, it's a really nice case um, and it fits everything that you would need. And I think it has additional elements to this than other comparable cases that I think elevates this over that. So yeah, I'm going to do a really quick what fits in this. So it fits a lot and more, actually more than I would normally carry or really need in this. Um, but I will start off with filling up the side pockets. So these are really great for flat things, I would say for like hair ties or like mirrors or something. So here is a hair tie and I'm just going to stick that in one of the pockets. Um, I also carry a small compact mirror with me. So something like that, just with the mirror there, um, and that can easily slip onto the other side, which I really like. And then I'm just gonna throw in a bunch of things um, and just show you as I go. For example, I have this little eyelash spoolie, so I'm just gonna slip that into the same pocket as the elastic that I put in earlier. Um, and then I just have, let's say, an eyeshadow. Um, I have this Fenty uh, matchstick. I have a eyebrow uh, pencil and then also a this um, I really actually like this this is the Chanel um, dual ended eyeshadow brush this is really fantastic uh, for carrying with you when you're traveling because it does have the covers on either end I have this shadow insurance here I have a lip balm I have just a pack of blotting sheets and so far as you can see there is a ton of room I have this uh, small jar of uh, face cream. I have this large um, sunscreen for my face that I always use. And this is really large, but I don't have anything smaller, but this actually does fit um, across. So if I just nudge that in, as you can see, it's, it fits no problem. And the last thing I'm gonna put in is just my deodorant. And I'm just gonna lay that at the very top on the edge just in the center because that is um, the tallest part of this pouch and as you can see it zips up without any issues and it's not bulging or anything and I could still fit a couple things in there if I needed to but that's about it so that was my quick overview of this pouch and also a quick what fits in it if you have any questions though please leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them otherwise thank you as always for taking the time to watch and especially for those that subscribe I really appreciate it it really helps me out uh, but otherwise I hope you all have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video